when you guys went on the 15, all that, you know, like defense was the difference with a bunch of quick steals. What was the focus defensively? Uh, just to be locked in at all times. You know, uh, last time we played them at their gym, you know, we came back, we were up 10 with like seven to go, and they just, you know, they walked it down. So uh, we didn't want that to happen at all tonight, so we just locked in every possession. So I just talk about your offensive performance. I think we're like 14 of 18 from the field, scoring in every kind of way that you've shown throughout the course of your career. How are you feeling from the one that set the record until the end of the night? Uh, I felt good, man. I just uh, no matter what the record was, I was gonna come out, you know, just just play my normal game, and I was just being patient. They were going under my screens, uh, really low. So I mean, I had to shoot the ball, and you know, I was knocking it down today, but. Just, just, just reading the defense and just playing to, to what I do. You can only set a career scoring record once, but just to to need just one basket, did that make things kind of easier? So you could, okay, I've, we're through with that, and you know we can focus on the matter. Yeah, definitely, definitely getting out the way. You know, uh, I mean, I heard the crowd; and it was it was nice, but then you know it's time to you know, like really lock in. And I think after that media timeout, we 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 went on that run, and uh, you know I told the guys. Uh, Let's play now. I mean, we should have been doing that from the jump, and I think we did, but it was time to, you know, take our game to another level. Was that about as complete a game as you guys have had put together this season, you think? Uh, I feel like from start to finish, you know, we uh, we have a lot of games this year where, you know, the first the first half we come out, shoot great, you know, what, about, about 10, 15 points, and then, you know, late in the stretch, we, we kind of kind of relax, take our foot off the gas. So I thought for 40 minutes tonight, we just came out, played hard, and, and executed what we wanted to do. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, Jaworski being injured, you know, did you guys prepare any differently for Lafayette as opposed to last time? Uh, no, not really. I mean, all those guys are capable of shooting and scoring. You know, EJ Stevens, I mean, he had 27 the other night, you know. He had a career game. He had another big game against us, and we played him the first time at home, and he was coming off the bench. So, you know, everybody's a threat. So we just uh, prepared the same way. This is your final regular season home game. How nice is it to clinch and lock up at least one more, you know, uh, playoff game here as you guys clinch home court? For the uh, you know, it feels good. It's very important. I mean, we just want to, you know, get play at home is, is the best feeling. So uh, winning this game secured it. So uh, we just be ready for, for Saturday. This is also an important game. And then you know, get ready for next week. Excited. You guys had four turnovers through 35 minutes. You said you didn't relax at all, but maybe the last couple minutes because you guys had four turnovers late. But as far as taking care of the ball, was this like the cleanest game that you guys have played this year as far as crisp ball movement and not not, not any sloppy possessions? Uh, definitely. I mean, just thinking, you know, we were, we were being very patient, you know, uh, still driving, like aggressive to score. But when somebody else steps up, you know, in the past, we've been trying to shoot between two people, uh, get the ball knocked out of our hands. So, you know, just just being aggressive, but also being passive at the same time, uh, led the open shots and led the less turnovers. So, uh, with this being the Eagles' last game of the season, last home game of the season, uh, how would you say the team has come together and grown throughout the course of the season? Uh, we grow every day. I mean, we come into practice every day. You know, like I said, locked in. Like and it's not easy. You know, going through class, study hall, you know, everything. But just, just we. I tell the team that we need to elevate our game now, and I think we, we started tonight, uh, and we're just trying to keep doing it until, until the end of the season. Thank you. Thank you. One question, if you don't mind. So, you know, you grew up playing football. You made a conscious choice to switch to basketball. You came to the school as a visitor, I think, as a sophomore in high school, mm -hmm. right? What would you tell yourself, if you, if you put yourself in those shoes back then, when you were visiting the campus, visiting the program, Reflecting on it now, what you've done, what would you tell yourself when you first visited the school back as a sophomore? Uh, just to, you know, always trust my gut. I mean, I didn't know, you know, I didn't get offered by American when I was a sophomore. It wasn't until my my junior summer going into my senior year. But I mean, just just I wouldn't take anything back. I live day by day, and uh, my gut feeling was to come here, and I'm I'm glad I did. And speaking of that, you know, you mentioned never even thinking about transferring or going anywhere else, even during the toughest times the last two years. How good does that decision feel on a night like tonight? I feel it's great. I know just, just trusting the program, trusting my teammates. Uh, you know, you have a lot of ups and downs, and it was a lot of down uh, my first two years. But, I mean, just sticking with it, and, and now it's, it's somewhat paying off. So just happy, happy I made the choice to stay here. And a night like tonight, how much does it make you believe that this team can be the one to, to – reach the ultimate goal and win that Patriot League tournament? I mean, I believed it from the beginning of the year. You know, I always tell the guys, you know, I feel as though we're the best team in the league. We just got to come out and play like it, you know. 
not get lackadaisical on certain possessions. I think that's a lot of the times how we lose. We, we just we need to fall back too much. So uh, I know I've been preaching it all year. The team knows, and I think we're just ready. We're ready for the next game in the playoffs. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. Appreciate it.